So let's start with a little bit of history. This is a knife. And this is a knife I bought around 10 years ago. I started buying cheap Chinese knives. And this, what this knife is, is a Navy K602. Um, and now you barely can find this knife. I don't think you can. But I bought it and I liked it so much that I bought another one. <laughs> and uh, then I bought another one. And one of those knives, I, I, I kind of polished it, and then I polished also the washers. And the other ones are difficult to open, but this one is, I mean, pretty easy, pretty nice. Of course, it's not exactly centered, if we may say. Yeah, it's not centered. It's almost hitting one of. It's it's hitting it definitely. It's hitting it. I have to just tighten it a bit and it will be okay, it will be a little bit more difficult to open, but since this is a Chinese knockoff for around, I think it was 20, 25 dollars, something like this, so it's pretty cheap, but it's cutting like crazy. Once, this particular knife, which I uh, then polished and uh, customized, is, um, I put a pen in here, and I was rotating it around the pen, faster and faster and faster, and suddenly, one of my fingers got into the way and it cut it almost to the half. Why? Because it's hollow grind and it's an amazing cutter. This knife is just so, so good cutter. So, I bought this knife. I bought many other knives, but this knife, because it's big, it's 25 centimeters, it's big. Uh, I have big hands, so this knife is just perfect for my hand. It's amazing. Uh, let's compare it to Spyderco. Paramilitary 2 again, like always. And of course, the spider could looks like a dwarf compared to it, which isn't normal because this is a huge knife. But I like it a lot. So I started to look for the original. And the original of this knife, maybe some of you know, some of you not know, is called Benchmade Skirmish. So Benchmade Skirmish, even back in the days when I started to look out for it, was a very rare, rare find. You, you cannot find this knife. It's very difficult. So I uh, continued to search, search, search. This was 10 years ago. So for 10 years, I was searching on and off for this knife, for the original Benchmade Skirmish. And suddenly this year, with the help of some friends, I managed to get this one from Germany. It's used, it's a real Benchmade Skirmish, black version, and uh, yeah, limited edition. It's S30V, and it's again 25 centimeters, and it's very cool because this knife, yeah, the lock is going a little bit more in, but it's locking very, very tight. I mean, there is no blade playing this guy. And it was used. Usual, uh, I mean, it's visible. It was used a lot. And it was sharpened very nicely. It's super sharp. Or oh, let me not cut myself. But it's not hollow grind. The original is not hollow grind. So the copy is hollow grind here. Amazing cutter. The original is not. So I bought this original, but I was still searching for the white blade. And with colored dots here, original. And a few months later, again this year. This year, I managed to get this guy from eBay. It's This is the original. It's almost as new condition, with those colored blades here in the titanium, uh, colored dots. And this knife is just gorgeous. It's big, and it's very cool, and it's, I mean, very well centered, we may say perfectly centered. <clears throat> of course, there are problems. For example, here, the the frame lock is a little bit sharp to, to push. I mean, you have to push it. Also, back in the days, they haven't put mm, metal inserts here in the frame locks. So this is titanium to metal, which is never a super hugely good idea. But this knife was my dream knife for 10 years. And of course, this one too. But uh, I dreamed mostly about this version with the white blade and with the colored dots here. And I managed to get the dream come true uh, by one Russian guy who is living in Bulgaria, in my country. He is living here and uh, I just uh, randomly, you know, bumped into his account in eBay. And then I realized he's from Bulgaria. And then we rode and then I bought it from him. I think he sold me, f uh, sold me this for around $700, around $700. So, I think it's a very good price because those knives are very rare find. You, you basically cannot find this knife sold somewhere on the internet. It's, it's very old and it's especially in this condition, which is kind of new. 
it's uh, very very difficult to find so this is uh, my dream knife we may say the knife that I was dreaming for for like a long long time and the copy uh, don't get me wrong the copy is a very very good knife although again you cannot find it but the original I mean to have the original that you have searched for in so many years is uh, I mean mind-blowing now it's uh, probably one of my favorite knives favorite knives although I have more expensive knives than this this one has this kind of a very sentimental value and also it's pretty rare so you definitely can find uh, probably with a little bit of a search and a little bit of a weight can find some some in this condition used but this in this condition most likely not this used one of course i probably will carry it uh, and use it because uh, i love how the guy had made the the cutting edge it's very wide edge and i think it's cutting completely amazing it will be a huge huge cutter and the pocket clip is very cool it's pretty big it's not very you know hidden it's not very deep but it's 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 an amazing knife and it's original benchmade skirmish limited edition this knife of course i will keep it i will not use it because this is just a museum piece museum piece in my opinion and of course the copy i was carrying it for a long time and it's uh it's a pretty good knife but and nowadays probably it's a little bit more expensive because you cannot find those uh, and i have two of them right here just like new but as you can see uh, they have problems they they are not centered uh, one of them is hitting the one side here uh, the other one is again hitting almost hitting this one is not exactly hitting but the quality control back then like around 10 years ago for the cheap chinese knives and there were no expensive china chinese knives back in the days there were only cheap ones so there was navi and i think there was land and there were uh ganzo only those companies were making knives back in the days now uh they are just huge variety tucson you have maxes you have uh, you have Wii knives you, you have cvv you have so many so many brands uh which are making amazing knives uh, for example, like uh, Greenthorn yeah, are making this copy of uh, Shurgorov, I think, uh, Shurgorov P -p -p something. But this, this is just uh, something else, just out of this world knife. I mean, so light, relatively big, 22 centimeters, and it opens like crazy with this very tiny flip. And when you see this flip, you say, oh, what's happening? But it opens without any issue. So amazing. But for this knife uh, some other time this video is about this knife my dream knife for 10 years and now i have it and i'm ultra ultra happy with it and i even have two of them so amazing stuff uh thank you for your time and uh, see you in some of the next videos of course